have you ever played or even tried playing plants vs zombies? Pretty sure you did, or if not at least you know the game. How about Jumper, a major recurring character within the franchise? In today's video, let's explore the real plant life of Jumper, the Venus flytrap. Hello everyone, welcome back to and then you'll die The Venus flytrap or Dionea mushipula is a carnivorous plant native to subtropical wetlands on the east coasts of the United States in North Carolina and South Carolina. It catches its prey chiefly insects and arachnids with a chopping structure formed by the terminal portion of each of the plant's leaves which is triggered by tiny hairs called trigger hairs or sensitive hairs on their inner surfaces. When an insect or spider crawling along the leaves contacts a hair, the trap prepares to close, snapping shut only if another contact occurs within approximately 20 seconds of the first strike. Triggers may occur if one-tenth of the insect is within contact. The requirement of redundant triggering this mechanism serves as a safeguard against wasting energy by trapping objects with no nutritional value and the plant will only begin digestion after five more stimuli to ensure it has caught a live bug worthy of consumption. So clever! The plant's common name refers to Venus, the Roman goddess of love. The genus name Dionea, daughter of Dion, refers to the Greek goddess Aphrodite, while the species name Mushipula is Latin for both mousetrap and a flytrap. The Latin word Mushipula or mousetrap is derived from mos or meaning mouse and discipula meaning trap, while the homonym word Mushipula meaning flytrap is derived from musca meaning fly and discipula meaning trap. Historically, the plant was also known by the slang term tipitiwichit or tipititwichit, possibly an oblique reference to the plant's resemblance to human female genitalia. The leaf blade is divided into two regions, a flat heart-shaped photosynthesis-capable petrol and a pair of terminal lobes hinged at the midrib forming the trap which is the true leaf. The upper surface of these lobes contains red anthocyanin pigments and its edges secrete mucilage. The lobes exhibit rapid plant movements, snapping shot when stimulated by prey. The trapping mechanism is stripped when prey contacts one of the three hair-like trichomes that are found on the upper surface of each of the lobes. The mechanism is so highly specialized that it can distinguish between living prey and non-prey stimuli, such as falling raindrops. Two trigger hairs must be touched in succession within 20 seconds of each other, or one hair touched twice in rapid succession, whereupon the lobes of the trap will snap shut, typically in about one-tenth of a second. The edges of the lobes are fringed by stiff hair-like protrusions, or cilia, which mesh together and prevent large prey from escaping. So brilliantly amazing mechanism, I must say. The holes in the meshwork allow small prey to escape, presumably because the benefit that would be obtained from them would be less than the cost of digesting them. If the prey is too small and escapes, the trap will usually reopen within 12 hours. If the prey moves around in the trap, it tightens and digestion begins more quickly. 
The mechanism by which the trap snaps shut involves a complex interaction between elasticity, turgor, and growth. The trap only shuts when there have been two stimulations of the trigger hairs. This is to avoid inadvertent triggering of the mechanism by dusts and other wind-borne debris. In the open, untripped state, the lobes are convex, but in the closed state, the lobes are concave. It is the rapid flipping of this bistable state that closes the trap. But the mechanism by which this occurs is still poorly understood. When the trigger hairs are stimulated, an action potential, mostly involving calcium ions, is generated, which propagates across the lobes and stimulates cells in the lobes and in the midrib between them. If the prey is unable to escape, it will continue to stimulate the inner surface of the lobes, and this causes a further growth response that forces the edges of the lobes together, eventually sealing the trap hermetically and forming a stomach in which digestion occurs. Digestion takes about 10 days, after which the prey is reduced to a husk of chitin. The trap then reopens and is ready for reuse. And now let's explore the evolution of Chumper in Plants vs. Zombies. Let's get it on. Thank you. 